This is Kat with the Upcycled Cat channel. I found this beautiful gray guest denim jacket at the bins. It's a man's jacket, I think. It's a medium. And I'm going to turn it into an art jacket for a woman. Or, well, it doesn't have to be for a woman, but I like blinging stuff up. So. This is beautiful. I am going to put this on here. I got that off of a t-shirt and I'm going to use this and this trim. Aren't those beautiful? And some of this. This is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it. Those are really beautiful. And then I'm going to use some of this I think. I used this in a previous project when I made the unicorn hat in case you haven't seen that one. And I might throw in some of this. I'm not sure yet. So I hope you'll join me as I have fun creating this new art jacket that I'm so excited about. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to leave this here, but cut all the way around the huge dinosaur, I'm assuming. That's what it is. Okay. I've got her cut out. And that should go right about there. Let's see if I can eyeball this at all. That's starting to look like what I was seeing in my mind. Or maybe I use this background. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Another idea, and then there's this idea, which I just don't know. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this bottom. This is a pretty long jacket, and it's also a man's jacket, and it is very tight down here. It's not really made for a woman's wider hips. I have finally decided what design I'm going to use. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I'm going to go for that. I got this off of a skirt. What beautiful fabric. So I'm just going to do an easy cut. I'm not going to do a whole lot of distressing to this bottom. Mainly I'm just taking my scissors and just running it past the fabric. Now the other thing is that when I cut out the bottom, I actually cut open the pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some, some fabric tape between the inside jacket and the jacket pocket material and iron that down and that will seal that pocket and it will also save that pocket. In order to stitch these two pockets together, I am going to use Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. 
And I think these come in a couple of different widths. This is the 5 8 inches. And I'm just going to measure it. Actually, let's cut off that up there. And now just press and hold on a medium heat with no steam. And it says about two seconds, but I like to do just a little bit more. And then I like doing the other side as well. Okay, so that didn't adhere all the way down. Once I heat it again, and I peeled off that second layer, so now it's going to glue to itself those two inside pouches, and we will have our pocket fixed. Well, next I applied heat and bond, and I had that on video, but for some reason the video stopped. Anyway, I'm using the Ultra Hold Heat Bond, Heat and Bond, and this is ready to go now. And now for the exciting part, I'm ready to glue the background onto this. And I ironed this first to make sure that it was as flat as possible. So I'm peeling this away. And you can see it's very shiny, and that's the glue. Make sure the fabric underneath is flat and straight. Oops. I want to protect this. Okay, this is cold and it is definitely stuck onto the jacket. And next, this is going to get ironed on. And I've taken off the backing, the heat and bond, white sheet has been removed. And now I can iron this one on. So I realized I made a mistake after I glued this down or ironed it down. I had forgotten to cut out that little area. So that was filled with a really weird light green. Luckily, this hadn't completely glued on yet. So I was able to lift up this little bit and get a scissor and cut that area out. So when you're using the heat and bond, it tends to take about three, I think, three really good ironings before it ha adheres, which is kind of nice because I wouldn't have been able to correct that mistake if it had just immediately adhered to the underside. So that's kind of nice. I really like this um, so far. Look at how beautiful it is. I'm very excited about it. I have decided that I love this design and I'm going to glue this in with my E6000. But before I do that, I am going to do a test to make sure that this does not soil this. I'm just going to put a big old dab on there and fold it. And then I'm going to wait about 15 or 20 minutes and if it doesn't stain it then I am gonna go ahead and glue these down okay 
Okay. <clears throat> it did not stain at all. It's dry. So the E6000 is perfect with this. So now I can glue that stuff down. Make sure it's the right side that I want it to be on. And I want to follow this line right here. This really beautiful seam line. So I'll follow that all the way down. Okay, so I glued this top on, glued the bottom. I like how it looks. And now I'm going to do something similar to the front. I'm going to put these across here. I think that's going to look really beautiful. And I'm going to put these around the cuffs. Just a real basic simple design. Nothing fancy. Okay, I've cut these out and I'm letting those dry a bit. In case I drip something on it. Well, unfortunately, my cell phone went dead on me and I did not know it and I finished the jacket. So I don't have it on video, but there really wasn't that much left to do anyway. I finished gluing these on. I glued these on using the E6000, and that seems to be working nice. Those are securely on there. I did these. Just glued those on with E6000 as well. And then on the back, let's see, I added this little cute little doodad here, a little sparkly purple flower. And it just, this this little box here, which is the stitch for the inside tag. It was just calling out for something to be put in there, wasn't it? I mean, like an empty frame sitting there. So, cute little flower goes in there. And this is the finished jacket. I, I blinged her up. She is blinged up for a night out of eating out on the town. She has a Swarovski, Swarovski, uh, it's so hard to pronounce, Swarovski crystal for an eye. And then I also added some other crystals here and over here. Just blinging up that night sky a bit. And then she also is wearing a choker with a really beautiful little bead 
and those were all just glued on as well using E6000. She also has a bracelet on and that is that I made that out of some really beautiful iridescent mesh fabric. She's also wearing one of her big chunky sparkly rings. This is a special occasion after all. I mean she's she's out on the town chowing down. And isn't she gorgeous? So much fun. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think in the comments. This is the final look. I, I'm liking it. It's a little bit oversized, which I like. I love the artwork. Let me know in the comments what you think.